guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vumbre Kent. Welcome back to my channel. You just clicked on a teardrop trailer update. This little video is gonna cover days three through nine of building my camper. These aren't consecutive days. I literally just go to my parents' house and work all my free days, if I have a spare few hours, then I hop on over there. I've been thwarted by a few rainy days at this point, so it's kind of upsetting, but I'm literally doing all I can. Without further ado, let's go. So I get to the house, and not only has my dad taken this thing out of the garage, which I couldn't do last time, but he's mounted it on these tables for easy access. And he's putting on the next two side panels. So last we left off, I had attached this big panel right here, and now he fixed it all up, attached it at the bottom, which I didn't do, and then we're attaching number panel number three and panel number four. Look at him. <laughs> so these copper wires are stitching together this side panel to the middle panel. Not only are we stitching the middle part to the side part, but we're also stitching the actual uh, side part to the frame. I don't know if you can see right there. She's officially wire sewn together, and then we're going to glue the seams together with this Instacure and spray it with an Insta set. Gluing, gluing. Making sure everything is solid oh, and Oh, we missed a stitch. We're epoxying again. We're sticking all of the sides together. Push it on the What on am the I epoxy? Here? There's epoxy on it. It's sticky. Yeah, from the very top. In fact, if there's extra, that's even better. So we're basically mixing some wood pulp, wood pulp into some resin to make like a peanut butter-ish consistency and we're using it to fill like the cracks and the seams. I'm making a pastry bag of wood pulp resin, basically. Ta-da! It's like, it's like I'm baking. Oh, decorate, oh, decorating. I can't do this and hold the camera at the same time. The last step of the day was to epoxy fiberglass strip these two pieces right here. And that's it for day three of our project. Early the next morning. Today's work is gonna look really similar to yesterday's work, so let's speed through it. of work I'll turn around and show you everything that we did the first day I got to work with my dad the second day I had to work by myself but I'll show you the progress the camper is on its side because this bottom side is drying this is what I did today I basically stitched and glued these two pieces together and then the other day when my dad was working we did those top two pieces Ugh. and I'm coming back on the weekend to do more Four to six days later. Apparently my dad was getting sick and tired of moving this thing around. It gets pretty heavy. Um, so he added wheels to the bottom so we can move around more easily. I think it's genius. And this is how we install it into the frame. Slowly. Ah! You can have it on two wheels and move it wherever you want. Ah! Or you can lay it on the four wheels. Ah! <laughs> I'm go this way, okay. Nobody moved it. That's genius. It is a noisy day today, but we're working on starting the galley. See, when the camper's done, this back part's gonna open up, and we're basically making that part over there. Say hi, Sido. Wave hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're attaching a second piece to the shell. And eventually when this becomes part of the hatch, this small piece go, will go off with this side and the big piece will remain a part of the inside. 
Next up, we're mixing the wood pulp epoxy and filling up this crack and also filling up this crack. We need about 12 ounces for this project, which is quite a bit. Secret ingredient for the special sauce, sawdust. Mmm, delicious. Now, we make it into a pastry bag. Basically, you have to fill up this crack. The final step today is to make this little lip on what's going to be the hatch. Oh, we have this long piece in the middle and then each side has this smaller piece right here. Two days later. This morning we're working on fitting this flat bottom part of the galley onto right here. It's supposed to extend from about right here to over there, but it's ever so slightly too big in areas. So my dad's doing all of the measurements and we're gonna shave this down in the appropriate areas so it fits perfectly. <laughs> Update, no matter how hard we try, the galley bottom will not fit and we're gonna have to recut it um, in a kind of complicated way. Oh, and, and we cracked the shell trying to shove it in. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It cracked like five inches, definitely repairable, but I was pretty mad. Like when I heard the crack, I was just like, dad, in like a completely obnoxious way, but it just like came out. Hmm. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. This is the first time. This is our first thing that's gone wrong this whole camper adventure. Now to do the part that I came here to do this morning. I just gotta glue these babies onto this part for support. One, two, three, four. I glued them down and then dad put bricks on top to hold it and that's it for today. Three days later. Another day, another several hours of working on the camper. Let's go! Today we're finally installing this baby onto here. We sanded down each of these little support beams so it won't like, you know, give us stubbed toes later on because of where it's going to be in the final product. Um, and then we have to epoxy it onto here. It's going to go from this little piece of wood to that one over there. And here's the galley floor fully attached and glued down. If you remember last time, we had a little bit of a boo-boo in this corner that created a crack or like a little slit. So in order to repair that, we just glued down a piece of wood uh, and it should work. It's not the prettiest thing, but it works just fine. These little pieces are just to hold it in place while it dries and they're gonna be removed afterwards. It took a bit of hassle, but we finally have these quarter panels on. Um, because of the issue situation we were having here, we also needed to put a little piece of wood here, but we epoxied it and we only have one more step for today. Now this is gonna be the floor of the camper. And that's it for today. We just have to leave this to dry for about 12 hours. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> the next day. Good morning. So I'm here super early at my parents' house and we're gonna do a lot of epoxying, resining, uh, waterproofing today, but also probably purchasing some parts that I need, uh, like a trailer and a hitch and some mushroom vents and a fan, etc., etc. So uh, a lot of like painting today, but also purchasing, which is the worst part of this. I don't mind working. I'll work hard all day, but Shit's expensive, this stuff is expensive. Um, but I have been saving up for this for a long time, so it's, it's gonna be worth it. Update, we had to move to the garage, at least what we could move to the garage because it started raining. Thank you. Psych, we took it back out. I did a bunch of sanding, now we're finally painting. The amount of times I took this camper in and out because of rain today is rid ridiculous. I literally wasted like two hours. What is that? What is that? What is this? I don't know, whatever. Um, but, but, I, I think I can finally do it. I don't think there's supposed to be any more rain, so let's go.
In my rush to get this painted, I forgot that you're supposed to leave an edge bare for the gluing later, but I'll sand this down later to make it rough. I'll fix it, but done. Done. And also there was just like one other random piece that needed to be done and done. So where we left off, I was going to start purchasing a lot of the things that need to go inside the camper. So I need to like wire it electrically and get like insulation and stuff like that. And I thought I knew what I needed to, to like wire up my camper. Turns out it's a whole complicated process. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put that on pause until I do a ton of research. But I may just purchase the insulation for now. We'll see. God, I don't know, because then you have to like wire it before you put the insulation, because the wires go between the wood and the insulation. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So that's why I haven't purchased any electrical components yet, but what I did purchase is the trailer. And I'm a little nervous about my purchase, let me explain. Initially, I was gonna purchase the, a trailer from the company that sold me the camper parts, right? They sell a trailer that fits the camper perfectly and I was like why not just purchase the one that they recommend and this way there's no like thought into it unfortunately there's like a United States wide shortage of trailers right now I don't know why but the one on their website is on back order for five months. Forget that. I'm not waiting five months. Also, the one on their website is $1,700, which is like, I feel like a little steep for a 5 by 8 trailer, but whatever. So then I decided to look at some like other websites to see if they have a trailer I can order, and I swear they are sold out everywhere. Everywhere. Then I find one on eBay, and I send my dad the link. Next day, once he has the time to look at the link and like, you know we discuss if it's a good trailer or not. It sold out! It had literally 10 in stock the day before and it sold out. And in that same moment I found out it was sold out, I found another listing for the same exact trailer and with the zero thought I purchased it. The trailer was around $760 with free shipping which is considerably cheaper than the one that I was initially going to get which makes me nervous. What also makes me nervous is that the trailer says it has a towing speed limit of 45 miles an hour. I hope that's just like, you know, a legal recommendation they have to put on the trailer and that it won't disintegrate the moment I hit 50 miles an hour. It also comes not assembled. But I bought it. I bought it because I could not find another one anywhere and I wasn't about to wait till October to get my trailer. So all that being said, I'll keep you updated on when the trailer finally gets here and I'll keep you updated on my research for electrical equipment. I might do a whole video just about electrical later on once I figure things out, we'll see. But hope you're enjoying like all these updates. I'll probably post a video like this every three weeks or so, letting you know where I am at. This project is gonna be considerably longer than I thought it would. I thought I could do the whole thing in like two months, but no, this is like four or five months project, unfortunately. I still wanna take a trip with it this year. I still plan to take a trip with it this year. Cross your fingers for me. But like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, where I post every single day and I post a lot about the trailer then go here I'm also posting a lot about the trailer on TikTok so if you want to see a lot more like detailed stuff then you can check out my TikTok but that is all I have for today I will talk to you next time goodbye shout out to all my patrons but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.